is really gorgeous, <laughs> Bev, I gotta say. I love seeing your island from the water. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Does it feel like your island now? Does Dominica feel like home? Yes. Do you miss the States at all? Do you miss Minneapolis? How could I miss it? <laughs> Not today, but yeah. sometimes I do. Sometimes I miss the snow even. Really? But for short periods. <laughs> <laughs> do you get to go back and visit yes, see your family? Yes, especially my grandchildren. That's what I miss. When Beverly decided to come down here, her family was, I guess a good word would be resistant to the idea. I think that over time, they came to understand that this was right for her. My brothers and sisters are not so crazy about it, but everybody gets it. She's really happy. The family is excited now that they see there's some little bit of publicity and that I actually did it. I don't think it fazed her. I think that it was just an absolute discovery in her mind that she was supposed to be here. All I've read about staying healthy is that we have to keep challenging our minds and you know, meeting new people, what a better way. And I'm sure she's enjoying herself, so I can't imagine why she would you know, come back. But I uh, will always visit. What would your advice be to people back in the States that want to start over, start a new life? Do what you did. <laughs> well, if you want to do it, do it. Don't wait, because I had thought about it for a while before, and it took, it took Took some time to get the, up the nerve, but I'm glad I did it when I did it, even though it was probably a little late. I had a good life before too. It's I can't never complain. Too late. Yeah. You're, you're definitely <laughs> an example of it's yeah. never too late. So the noni juice is ready. Yes, we I made it. I told you I would try it. <laughs> but I want to, I think maybe we should get some company at the bar. Oh, yes. Who's mm -hmm. ready for some noni juice? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Did they warn you? <laughs> well, just pour a little bit and you can always have more. Because <laughs> people are totally going to want more, right? Oh, Beth? yeah. <laughs> Oscar, mm -hmm. I know this is the only way I'm going to get you to drink this because your lady can't get you to drink it. One for you. Beverly's a, a truly fantastic individual. She's uh, very humble, very low key, but uh, quite the uh, philanthropist, really, of what she's done here for Dominica and Rosalie Bay and all of the, the communities in the area. I think Beverly's fantastic, and for Beverly's age, it's amazing her energy that she has. It's probably the noni that Beverly drinks every morning. All right, well, here's to your health. Here's to health. Thanks for a, a great trip. Here. Cheers, Oscar. Oh, gosh. All right, All right. here Bot we go. Bottoms up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, Bev. You don't even taste it anymore, do you? No. <laughs> Tastes delicious. It's, yeah. I think Beverly's an unusual woman, and she marches to a different drummer. She cares about the environment, and she cares about doing something with her life that's meaningful. Oh, yeah. look at those little guys. We can put them down, and no, our our. Ooh. You see, they're heading towards the lights. Guys. They can tell they're near the ocean. They like it, better. Oh, yeah. She's a part of something that's growing and thriving and changing, and I think that's really optimal for her growing forward, just be happy and challenged. I've never known anybody in my life that has evolved into such a strong, independent person as Beverly has. It's an amazing thing for me to see. Yeah, do it! This is amazing, Bev. Yeah, yes. I've had so much fun seeing Dominica with yeah, you. And this is so I... special way to end it. Thank you so much. Oh, Send these thanks. little guys off into the ocean. Thank you. I hope I can come back yes. again. In the... Thank you for right, coming. Bye, little guys. Bye. Swim, be free. I just have this feeling of freedom. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I don't know if it's the nature, the people, you know, Oscar, the resort. I just, I feel good.
I love that my mother's an example of that lifestyle, so my kids will be surrounded by it. We're going to Dominica in just weeks now, and they are so excited. When she found this island, she found her calling, and I think she's gonna be here for a lot of years. I've never been involved in anything like this, <laughs> let alone a resort <laughs> or the turtles or anything else. It's all new to me, and it's been great. <laughs> my third life. I met somebody who told me about Tulum, packed a little bag, and I fell in love with it instantly. You've built this whole hotel. Was that anything you hadn't experienced no. before you came down here? No, I just kind of did it by instinct. I'm missing that, that fear gene, you know, yeah. the fear of failure gene. <laughs> I packed up my apartment and brought all the things down that I thought I might need to start a hotel. And I remember being at the bank machine and saying, like, balance $22.70. And I was like, oh, no. And I just decided, you know what? I'm not going to let this knock me down. Are you ready to work out with us? This is where the home of Bikini Boot Camp, right? Forward fold. I, I love being able to combine everything that I love to do into my business. I want to know about you guys. <laughs> Sergio and I met each other, like, 10 years ago. You finally, the timing worked out. That yeah, the great. timing worked out. And we wound up making a decision to live together and have a child together and share our lives. I'm very happy. Look where we are. <laughs> <laughs>